Hey, it's Dr. Stephen Lowe here with Adam Revival, and I want to welcome you to our weekly report. Thank you for joining us. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this is a new program that we're starting on the channel, and we're going to just kind of recap the weeks as they go by. This is the week of September 15th, and we got some big stuff that has occurred over this week. Um, and I think first we're going to start off with the diddler. The diddler. P. Diddy. Tough guy who's really a uh, closeted gay man. Uh, <laughs> man, I say, I say to people all the time, you know, you gotta, the only idol that you should have is Jesus, is God himself. You know, when you idol other humans and, and, and men, this is what it comes out to be, right? This guy was a fake, a fraud, a pervert, uh, and all types of disgusting. And reading the police reports, one thing stuck out to me. Uh, uh, uh there was, there was sexual trafficking. There was sexual abuse. It looked like he was essentially drugging upcoming artists and, and you know, having explicit relations, relations with them and then videotaping it. Much like the Epstein thing, Diddy is perhaps the Black Epstein. We don't know. We're going to find out as the days go on. But the one thing that stuck out to me, besides all of the heinous and satanic things, was in the raid, the FBI raid... They recovered, and they said this in the press conference, and I just about died. I was in my office, and I heard this, and I couldn't even contain my laughter. It's not it's not a laughing matter. Uh, I, I know I'm making light of this situation, but um, it is the diddler. And so within the within the FBI raid, they discovered, drum roll please, 1,000 bottles of lube. Man, what was that for, bro? What were you doing with 1,000 bottles of lube? Wow, uh, that's that's enough lube for, for you know, uh, I think you could probably lube the city of Detroit with that amount of lube. Considering the size of the container of lube, maybe akin to something like this, you, you, you put 1,000 of those, you know, next to each other, and then you deduce that it wasn't just 1,000 bottles of lube. It had to have been a room dedicated to the thousand bottles of lube, which is even more, even more heinous and more disgusting. It's lube, it was baby oil, it's all the same. It's, it's, it's disgusting and disturbing. And this is why I plead with people. We need to stop looking up to other individuals, to these celebrities as idols and as people that deserve to be looked up to. You cannot put your faith in another man. You can only put your faith in Jesus Christ. And these these celebrities are propped up, you know, by millions of dollars to look good and appear good and wholesome and yada, yada, yada. And and, and in the end, they, they're humans just like you and I, but, you know, they stink up the bathroom when they go and they, you know, they got bad breath in the morning. They're, they're, they're just humans. That's it. They're flawed. You cannot put your faith in them. And I think that the veil of maybe delusion, you want to call it, that society has been under or a trance or spell, whatever, by Hollywood, and these so-called elites uh, is starting to lift, and and you're, you're you're beginning to see that with the diddler because as this investigation unfolds, it's highly likely that more of these false idols are going to fall and, and praise Jesus for it. Any victims of this this heinous situation, we pray for you, and God will make you whole again. Just give your life to Jesus. The Beebs did it. Oh, the poor Beebs. The poor Biebs, we all know what happened to the Biebs now. But the Biebs found Jesus, and he sings about Jesus. And that's my advice to, to anyone watching this that may have been affected by the diddler. Okay, so we're going to move on a little bit. I want to change the topic. I want to talk about the Hawk Tua girl. And her name is Haley Welch, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe that's her name. And, uh, you know, I've been watching. She's going viral everywhere, and that's almost like the purpose of her. And, and why the, 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 the money backers have gotten behind her is, is to put her out in front and, and, you know, take maybe people's minds and eyes off of the election chaos that's going on right now. And I will say that I've watched some clips of her. She is funny. She's a funny girl. And you can tell, you know, even though she's been put into the spotlight, she seems to be a nice person. Uh, she seems to have a good moral compass. And, you know, she's been, come out and explicitly said, I will not be a part of the OnlyFans culture. And she's not promoting hookup culture. She's just kind of out there being a comedian. And so I just wanted to notate that but that's going to segue me into to what i really want to talk about briefly is the only fans culture our young ladies have been some and i don't care i don't care how much money they make i don't even want to hear that nonsense i could care less if money is your priority over over forever uh 
putting your, yourself on the internet and degrading yourself so your children can have a Porsche. They can't respect that, and nor should society. We need a cultural re revolution with our young ladies. We need leaders of sound mind and of sound faith to reintroduce God to our young women. And we need to openly, as men, denounce things such as OnlyFans. And look, fellas, look, let's, let's have a real moment here for a sec. Stop paying. Stop looking. Stop supporting it. I mean, and, and you look, we're just men. We're just men and Jesus forgives. So just put down the phone, cancel the subscription. On this channel, we have interviewed multiple uh, human trafficking organizations. And the number one thing that they point to as a contributor to human trafficking is pornography. And OnlyFans is pornography. So every time that you do this, you are, are likely contributing to some facet of human trafficking and it's prostitution it's digital prostitution is what it is so treat our women with respect they deserve it ladies treat yourselves with respect because god made you for a specific purpose you the individual you the individual god created you for a specific purpose pray and repent and accept jesus christ in your heart that's my advice to you uh, thirdly now that we've talked about the depravity of the diddler and the depravity of OnlyFans culture, we are going to move on into, there's a new product being launched by Mr. Beast and Lo, or I think it's, is it Mr. Beast and, and Jake Paul? I think it's Mr. Beast and Jake Paul or Mr. Beast and Logan Paul. It's a collab of some sort because it seems that the nutri the, the nutritional facts of Prime are, are quite disturbing. I'm not a nutritionist by any means, but I have tasted Prime. It's not for me. It kind of tastes like, I don't know, maybe coconut urine or something like that. But, uh, you know, these guys are, are putting out a product to compete with the Lunchables brand. I don't know too much about it, but I'm going to recommend that uh, you definitely research this product before you start feeding it to your children. Prime has shown to be not the most healthy of, of drinks. And this, I do know that these, these lunch leaves contain a prime within them. And then I would look at the ingredients list itself when it comes to whatever they're putting in the box for your kids to eat on. It's, it's time that, that we as parents and we as adults start, start pulling away from this fast food nonsense, uh, you know, non, uh, non organic and, 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 uh, infiltrated ingredients that our kids are eating all the msgs all the nonsense all the preservatives we don't have to do that you literally don't have to do that there's organic options go hunt go hunt and 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 fish and and stock your your fridge in deer season like put a put a little garden in your backyard if you're in the city put in you know a raised garden there's no excuse for our dependency on food and if you look at america we are one obese country and it's because we just eat at convenience. Now, I'm not getting down on anyone who eats fast food on the go. I do it myself. There's times where that's appropriate. It doesn't mean that should be your main your main course of eating, right? I mean, we want as much organic and untainted and godly food, natural food that we can get into our bodies. A lot of the ailments, a lot of the sicknesses that we see today are because of these foods. So parents, keep your eyes out for Lunchly. Examine it, research it before putting that into your children's stomachs, okay? And then finally, what I want to cover on, on this evening or on this broadcast uh, is that this is going to be the only political thing that I touch base on because there's been so much that has occurred over the past week, but that's all little things, nothing big and significant. We had the second assassination attempt uh, last weekend, um, and, and, and nothing quite crazy has has cut loose this week and this is not a political channel so i don't want to just focus on politics but this is something substantial that happened today the georgia election board voted to have only hand or uh, i believe it's only hand counted ballots are going to be legitimized which is it vastly different than 2020 with all the mail-in ballots they were pretty much accepting everything that that came in without questioning it um this has the Democrats in the panic, and it should, because an honest election and a fair election, I think the Democrats are in serious trouble. I think there's a red wave coming. I don't know if you're watching this, if you are a Republican or Democrat. Like I said, we're not a political channel. Um, I, you know, I'm putting my bias right out there in the open. Uh, I'm a registered Republican, and I will be voting for Donald Trump. However, I don't hate you if you're a Democrat. I don't despise you if you're a Democrat. Everyone has their free choice and their free will, and and that's the the beauty of our nation is we have the First Amendment and we have the right to to vote for whoever we want. But whether you're a Republican or Democrat, it should not bother you an inkling to hand count the ballots. If that does bother you. It should raise some red flags, even within yourself. Why would that bother you? Why would a fair and a free election 
bother you. It doesn't matter what political party you're aligned with. Uh, we all need to unite on this, and we all need to push for free and fair elections. That's all we got for you today on Adam Revival's weekly recap. Please share the video, like the video, subscribe the video. God bless you, and Jesus is King.